It is your right as a human being to have good health, to be educated, to develop yourself, to be able to give, not just take. Give back. We have lost a lot of um, a lot of innocent lives to malaria, to polio, malnutrition, and now we have HIV/AIDS. If healthcare is readily available to the average Nigerian child, those figures, those statistics, will drastically reduce. You're working in the nutrition department, and there in the nutrition department, we see. Patients that are highly malnourished or that are sick, to do run tests for them, total protein, their PCV, their HIV, and at times run malaria to see if they're having malaria. Each week they come, we check their weight. Like this, he started when he came, he was weighing 7 kg. Each week he has been coming. The first time when they start, when we start to resuscitate them back to normal, after two weeks they pick up. They pick up gradually and they come back to normal. After that, we do give them food portion to carry home. We give them rice, we give them beans, we give them milk to take home because we find out that most of them know that they don't have food, but they don't have money to buy the food. So we help them because it's poverty that made them get malnourished. We are helping out a lot of women in the area of cervical cancer. But when we detect any breast cancer, we send them to look. But that of cervical cancer, we do we treat here. We have a lot of malaria cases around, both in adults and children. And here we use combined treatments. And our policy here is that we don't allow any patient to go at home without taking his or her drugs. If they cannot pay, we we'll call in our medical director, Dr. Ada, and he will, she will come and sign charity for us. And the patient goes home with his or her drugs. We have registered almost about 700,000 people we have so far registered. Out of the 700,000 people we have so far registered, they have, we have the 475,958 patients have been benefited up to date. Well, I've been with that leg about 11 months now. I'm happy that I can be working with that walking stick, clutches. I'm still happy. I'm still happy as far as I can work very well. I'm still happy that for me to sit one place is not good. So I'm happy like that. Uh, my children now know they have a father that is active. Nobody came in here who have been victimized go without the limbs. All I've been giving the limbs to them free of course. If you cannot write a simple sentence in English language, how will you read books? How will you read books that teach you how to make use of a computer, for instance?
education and the acquisition of skills leads to independence. Independence in a very positive way because you can sustain yourself. You earn a living, you know, you're developing your own mind, you're becoming an individual, you're raising your self-respect. If a child lives with approval, he learns to like himself and others. As I see my future, I am going to be a teacher. If a child lives with encouragement, he learns self-confidence. I like to do when I grow up. In my future, I want to be an accountant. If a child lives with fairness, he learns justice. The reason why I want to be a lawyer is I always like how they always talk. I always see the, how they will be judging. That's why I like when they will be talking. I always watch their films. That's why I like a lawyer most. Education is very, very important because I believe knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you can do in all areas of your life, sincerely. Not just as a way of going to school, I mean education by way of information. Yeah? Simply being knowledgeable about the important aspects of life. Uh, we take care of street children. We bring them from different places. I ran away from my parents because they not to me away. We came back around 9 o'clock in the night. My mother now asked me, where, will I, where, where did I go? And I told her that we were coming from somewhere with my friend. And she asked her husband to beat me. When her husband was beating me, she told her husband to break my spinal cord. So her husband would throw me up and throw me down. So the next morning, I decided to leave the house. When the children come into the center, we kind of like tutor them here at home before we, we, um, we enroll them into different, uh, different classes, depending on the level at which they can cope. I like it very well because they sent me to school. That is the only important, the only important thing that I want. I was very, very happy to be in this place because, firstly, they sent me to school. They treat us like we are inside our house. They, they take us as one family. Even though they don't want to read, so go and read your book, you're having exams t tomorrow. You know, just like every normal home, every normal family, or every normal mother or father would do to a child. We're doing, we're trying to just make them know that this is also home. I've had my lunch and look at the clothes that I'm wearing. In Kurama, I used to wear the cloth, look like rag. They teach us good things, like art. They teach us how to draw and not to serious with our education. Okay. Others, we are working on a kind of reunification, going as far as Sokoto to go and see the parents of the family or as far as Calabar, just to make sure that, okay, the family is here and we, we are in custody, uh, your child is in our custody. So you know we're taking care of the child, not as if the child is lost or the child is dead. It's been like, let's say 80% of success because the children have been doing well the ones that have not gone to school before, they've come into school and they are, they are performing well. I'm going to come back to this organization and help them because they are the one that pushed me to success. And I can't explain to myself why I have been so privileged and someone else has been lacking of these same things. I know that my future is very going to be a good future. It's a simple matter of demographics. I want to become a, a doctor. If I be a teacher, 
I can grow up and be teaching people outside that don't know anything. I'll be teaching some small, small children, like they don't know ABCD, I can teach them ABCD. That child <laughs> didn't choose to come, yeah, but they came into being and it's the responsibility of those that have been here for a while to make sure that that newborn has a chance at life.